Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I want to get on here and talk about my top five must-have mods for under a gazillion dollars. Now, if you're into mods and stuff, you know that you can spend a fortune, especially on a Jeep. There is a myriad of options out there for Jeeps. You name it, and you can probably go out and buy it on your and put it on your Jeep. But anyway, I'm going to give you a list of the five mods, the five must-have mods, that I would recommend for under a gazillion dollars. First of all, we're going to start off right outside here in the front, and that is window tent. You know, nothing makes really any vehicle, and particularly the Jeep Gladiator, look better than tending the front windows. Now, I'm going to say the front and only the front windows. Don't let a shop talk you into doing the rear windows. You do not need to do them. They're already tented. They come that way from the factory, both the sides and the rear here. You don't need to tent those. And don't let them talk you into UV protection or any kind of clear tent for that. You don't need it. But definitely the front two windows. Now, this can be done for about a hundred and about a hundred and forty bucks, something like that. Seventy bucks a window shouldn't cost you more than that. And a good shop can do it in probably about 45 minutes to an hour. It really shouldn't take any longer than that. And if it does, it's either because they're backed up or they don't know what they're doing. Next up, we got to step inside and take a look at the floor mats. You know, it comes with cloth floor mats, and I really don't understand that. I mean, it's a Jeep, right? A lot of people, some people, are going to take it out, get it a little dirty, get it a little muddy, whatever. But why would you put cloth floor mats in a Jeep? They should always come with all weathers. Now, there's a myriad of brands you can get out there. You know, you've got WeatherTechs, uh, Huskies. These happen to be the Mopar brand, and I like these the best uh, because I think you get the best fit with them. Now, you don't get that up over the side kind of coverage that you get with, say, a WeatherTech, but it does come up far enough that just for normal driving, you shouldn't really have any problems, or normal use, I should say. It is cupped, so it will hold liquids and stuff in there, although, and you can see mine actually popped up right there. Um, it can get down here into the little drain hole um, and maybe even around where the little clasp is to hold it down. But you're supposed to be able to drain the Jeep out anyway, right? Let's take a look in the back. The one thing I love about the Mopars is they snap together in the middle there and they go all the way across all of the carpeting in the back of the Jeep. So you're well protected back here, even for passengers in the rear. Okay, for this next one, we got to open the hood. And this is a mod that I just did recently. And you may notice, I will update these as I go. You know, as I put different things in, the ranking of them kind of changes, right? This is number three, and they are the Redline Tuning Hood Struts. I mean, check that out. You barely touch it. It opens by itself, and it stays up. I love these things. They are awesome. And you can see them there on the sides. They look like little shock absorbers, right? Now, even better with the Jeep, as compared to the Tacoma anyway, these things are bolt-on. No drilling, no cutting, nothing like that. You have the bracket right here that bolts in with a factory bolt right down there. And then you have the hood bracket here that slips right into uh, a little groove or a little opening that's in the hood there. And that's it. Once you're done, you just snap on the struts and you're good to go. Probably take you about, shouldn't take any more than probably 45 minutes to do this, maybe even a little bit less. Cost on these, uh, it's about a hundred bucks, something like that. And by the way, the all weathers that I talked about prior, they're probably right around 180 bucks, something like that. Hood struts, that's a must have, just makes life easier if you ever open your hood. Okay, next up, number four, and this is probably the most awesomest one so far, and that is the best top, soft top for hard top. It's this little section right across here uh, that you replace the freedom panels with. Now, it is cloth, it just folds right back so that when you're in there, you don't have to try to store freedom panels or anything crazy like that. You just jump inside. Pretty easy to do. I mean, we're all gonna do that if we drive anyway. There are two hooks up here, or two clasps, one over on the passenger side, one over on the driver's side. You just flip those back. Pretty simple, right? 
and then you just push the top right back like so. And now you have nice blue skies, depending on where you're at and what day it is, um, to enjoy driving around. A nice open top feel. I love this, this thing. It is awesome. I think it probably should be an option from the factory with the hard top. You know, I like having the hard top the rest of the way back. I didn't want a full soft top. This way, I'm able to have the, both, the best of both worlds, I guess. Now, to put this thing back down, you just reach up like so, grab a hold of it, pull it down, and then go ahead and reconnect like so. And that's it. So easy, you can do it with one hand while you're shooting a YouTube video. We've come to number five, last up, and granted, purely aesthetic. And what I'm talking about are the wheels. I had changed to fuel wheels on my Jeep because I didn't like the chrome Jeep wheels that came with it, right? I think chrome just cheapens the look of the Jeep, in my opinion. I mean, if you like chrome, nothing against it just not my thing but I think with black wheels on any vehicle particularly again the Jeep Gladiator it just looks awesome I mean check that out I didn't even have to change the tires these are the stock tires that came with the Jeep and it's just a complete transformation I think it's awesome of course they're black so they match the rest of the trim work I kinda have a two-tone Jeep for the most part right except for you know maybe the lights and maybe that chrome trail rated sticker there or decal or badge that may need to be changed to a blacked out trail rated badge but anyway I think having black wheels on the Jeep just makes it look perfect I think it's a fantastic look and makes it look even a little bit meaner now there is one more it's kind of the elephant in the room that we have to talk about and that is um, a lift and bigger tires now we're getting into a lot more money we're still under a gazillion but we're getting uh, into a little bit more money. Um, probably anywhere on the cheap side, if you go wheels, tires, and a lift, you're probably looking at about 3,400 bucks on the cheap end, and sky's the limit if you, uh, if you go with a total suspension and uh, maybe even more expensive and bigger wheels and tires. Um, certainly that looks awesome on a Jeep, but I'll give you a little word of caution, no matter what tells you or what anyone tells you, that is going to change the ride quality and the way that the Jeep handles. So be prepared for that if, uh, if indeed that's something you're, you're going for. Anyway, just wanted to get on here, kind of go over my, uh, my top five mods for under a gazillion dollars, at least as the list stands right now. There is a number six, which is probably going to move up soon, and that is a cold air intake. Now that's coming uh, in the future here on the channel. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Real quick, if you haven't before and you want to, check out my other channel. It's called Rob Motive. All about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.